Speaking of fattening foods, more and more people are turning to drugs like Ozempic to lose weight. The drugs are reportedly being prescribed after surgery in order to help patients maintain their new diet. Dr. Sue Dakotas is a physician specializing in weight loss, and she joins me now. So, doctor, you do, just to get it straight, you do prescribe these drugs for your patients. Yes, I am. I'm a board-certified obesity medical specialist. And it's a really important part of my practice. And I'm just so grateful that we have this new category of drugs because they work so well. You know, weight, weight loss is, is so much more than just calories in, calories out. And what typically happens to people is that their insulin doesn't work anymore. Yes. And when that happens, they can't lose fat. If they lose a few pounds, it's going to come right back on because it's not really fat. So to be able to do something about that now is so exciting. And are there risks? Because we do hear there are reports that there's a big increase in in uh, poison control, uh, poison substance abuse from people that get on these drugs. Uh, what are talk about the risks for taking the drugs? Because nothing is perfect. No, but these drugs are usually very safe. It depends on where you get them. So there are a lot of really unsavory online sites where you can buy this stuff, and it's snake oil. It's not the real wow. drug. So be careful about that. There are all these online platforms, and a lot of times you'll see them for a day or two, and then they'll be taken down because the FDA will close them down. So yeah. it could be water. It could be gosh knows what in there. Yeah. So get it from a physician who really knows this area of expertise, and, and you get them from a sourced, high-quality pharmacy. Now, there also have been, for people who have problems with obesity, there, there, there is a surgical alternative. Have these drugs cut back on the number of surgeries being done to, to control weight? Well, they're saying that the surgeries are actually up a little bit, okay? Interesting. However, the surgery should only be used for someone who is really morbidly obese. I see. Because with the surgery, you're changing the anatomy of the body. You're, you're changing the GI tract. So what that means is that patients that have had surgery can have the high volume, high fiber food that's going to keep them healthy. They can only have smaller quantities. Also, after the surgeon opens up the abdomen, what happens is that temporarily a lot of the appetite hormones go down. Hmm. Okay, so the person's able to eat smaller amounts. Then when they come raging back, which is where these obesity drugs come in, the person gains a tremendous amount of weight. Because all they're able to eat is low fiber, sugary, high fat foods. Wow. So they can't just sit down and have a chopped salad, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of vegetables and chicken. Now, there's another problem with the drugs, which we've talked about before here. But, but people sometimes when they see all the, the Christmas meals and the, 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 all of the treats that we have around holiday times, uh, decide to get off of the drugs for a while just to be able to appreciate what's in front of them. Is that, would you say that that's bad uh, policy, that you shouldn't do that? I, my patients are all loving the holidays because what they're able to do is on these medications, they're able to have a little bit of everything and not indulge and still lose weight. Another great thing with these drugs is people are drinking a lot less alcohol long term. And we know that alcohol, especially in women, more than two drinks a day, greatly increases the risk of breast cancer. Yes. So it's so nice for someone not to have to drink that much alcohol. So I advise my patients, stay on the medication. Why do you want to regain? Keep burning fat. Yeah. Dr. Dakotas, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it.